this shit out. Got myself my JDM steering wheel. Got myself a boost gauge, digital boost gauge. Made myself a new gear knob. And today, guess what we're installing? We're installing a short shifter kit by Cube Speed. Would you look at that? Oh, this is the reason why I need to get a new short shifter. So this is in neutral. Put in first gear. Look at all that play in first gear. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Look at that play. Look at that shit. What the fuck? Pretty excited for this. Get rid of this sloppy fucking shift. First of all, we're going to start taking off all the surrounds and stuff like that. So for this piece around here, all you do is just lift up. So it lifts up, you just slide it out like that. Pretty much, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, I will need to take this off. All right, so now that adapter's off. Now this should just, that should just come off. Once that's done, this should just pop off. There it is, just put it away down there. Then you're down to here. Four bolt the thing, and then once you do that, all this comes off. Um, then you'll be down to where you can see the ground and the gearbox and stuff like that. Yeah, so what I've done now, I've just taken that surround off. There's just two Phillips, two Phillips head screws just there and there. Once you undo them, you can just grab it how you were beforehand and just lift it up. The whole thing just comes out, and then you will have to unplug the uh, hazard light switch uh, from the back, and you just move that out of the way. Make your life a little bit more simpler. Don't use a Phillips head screwdriver for the back parts. You don't have to actually take it off. Um, you can just use an extension and a 10 millimeter socket and off you go. That part out. It's pretty simple, just lift up, comes up. Now you're back down to here. Now you can see the floor. There's one, two, three, four bolts. Then you take off and then once that comes off, you can just take the actual whole housing out. I had a lot of fucking issues. Uh, basically, I have to, you have to drill out these two fucking holes um, so you can actually access the bolts and the actual bolts are so hard to reach in the back. The front two are easy, the back two are fucking hard as shit. Um, but I managed to get them off. Now I'm just about to um, start pulling this apart. Yeah, I think I should change my oil in the gearbox. <laughs> it's a bit fucked up. Um, but yeah, this is what what should look like. Alright, so now that actually looks really fucking pretty right there. Um, it's so much better than the old fucking the old one. And look at all this play. Look, wait, ready? Uh, look at that. It's really bad. Anyway, um, that's it. I will give you a bit of a rundown. So, first gear, it's really short. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, reverse. Look at that, no movement. A little tiny bit of movement, but nothing compared to what it was. Look at that. Fucking beautiful. And when you do cut those holes in the actual body of the car, you do want to get some touch-up paint. Um, I've got some touch-up paint just to, just to cover the edges of that. I don't want it rusting. <laughs> and basically do a reverse order of everything that you've uh, taken apart. I just put the, new sh the, um, the boot on. I'm going to put this on, the um, sleeve, then I'm going to put this over the top of that, um, put everything back in, and then it should be fine. And BAM! Just like that, she's in. Looking sexy as fuck. Guys, I really do recommend that you get, do pick up a cube speed shift knob. Um, I'm not sponsor or anything, but this is fucking sick. Like, compared to my old one, like, this is, this is fat. Like, there's no, compared to, look at that. There's barely any movement in that. Like, it feels sick. Guys, like, I just, yeah, just go pick it up. Just go, just go do it now.
Since the last time you guys saw this car, it was had black T37s on it. T TE37s, rotor grids. I got new wheels, I lowered it a tad more. I did a whole bunch of interior work. Tickers you're fancy. Like, mmm, look at that sexy stance, boy. She's banging. So if anyone wants to know what the wheels I have on now there, I'm um, Rotor Talk Oz, 17 by 9 plus 12 in the rear, and then 17 by 9.5 plus 12 in the front, with 215, 45, 17 tires, and 225s in the rear. I can't really complain, the fitment's like on point. Pretty much this is exactly how I want my car to look, to look like, and how I've always envisioned it. Rep CR tires, as you can see, rep. But you know what, they look exactly the same. I might do a feature because like, I haven't done a feature since my first ever videos. And please follow my Instagram at Eric underscore Lombardo. Um, you'll see updates there because like sometimes YouTube is pretty shit with like notifying you guys with videos and such. So like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.